Hi, I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs. I recently had someone ask me a few questions about the Morgan lap stands and how they work. So I thought I would make a short video today to show you how they are put together and how they work well for Punch Needle. When you purchase a Morgan lap stand, it will come to you in a package like this. It's got the two hoops here and then it's got the pillars here and it comes in different sizes. This is a seven inch, nine inch, and that means that this littler hoop is seven inches in diameter and this big hoop is nine inch in diameter. And the pillars space the hoops four inches apart. When you take the hoop out of the package, these are the parts that you will have. So you can use either of the hoops by itself if you want. And since the attachments for the pillars are on the inside of the hoop, it doesn't affect getting the weaver's cloth tight. You can still get the weaver's cloth tight. And the Morgan hoops have this groove and lip system. It's got a lip here and then a groove on the outside of this one. And that is what allows you to get the weaver's cloth drum tight in the hoops. So to assemble the hoop, you want to start with the larger of the two hoops and you want to take these and you want to push this smaller of the two ends into these holes and you want to do it so that the rod angles in towards the center of the hoop. What I love about these is that they, since they come apart so easy, it is easy thing to take with you if you're going to take a crafting project on a trip. And then you're going to take the smaller of the two and press it onto the pillars. And then when you want to use it, you can just add the weaver's cloth. Or if you're using it for quilting or cross stitch, you can add whatever foundation fabric you're using. As you can see, the pillars don't interfere with the fabric here. And it'd be the same on the larger side. When I'm using the lap stand, if I'm using the smaller side, I will take this larger part off and just set it aside. And that makes it easier to have this in my lap so I don't get the screw poked into my leg and vice versa. If I'm using the larger side of the lap stand, I will just take this bottom off and set it aside while I am using the top part. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.